my hands are hovering on the wheel, my foot is hovering on the brake, but I am not doing anything. This is wild. Uber has completely disrupted the way we get from point A to point B. And here in Pittsburgh, they're about to revolutionize that experience. They're getting rid of the driver. After 18 months of testing, Uber is allowing loyal customers in the Steel City to opt in to ordering one of a handful of self-driving cars. Why Pittsburgh? We really feel that Pittsburgh driving is harder than most cities. Like, it's not a standard grid layout. Like, the traffic patterns in Pittsburgh are pretty aggressive, and we just have extreme weather conditions. If we can reason about all those different things in Pittsburgh, then we're feeling pretty confident that we can take that learning to the next city. During the pilot program, riders will be accompanied by a safety driver to assist the vehicle in tricky situations. Are you my safety driver? Sure am. All right, so you're going to drive me safe, Philip? I won't Over, be, This baby's going to drive us safe? safe? Okay, good. There. And someone sitting in shotgun to take notes along the way. This feels completely normal, the whole thing from calling it, sitting back here. Someone's usually in the driver's seat. They are right now. I would have no idea that this car was driving itself other than it's saying Uber self-driving. It's all controlled by 20 cameras, seven lasers, and 360 degree radar coverage. All that data looks like this, a map you can see in the back seat. We're taking all that data and fusing it together to be like, this thing that we're seeing in space, that's a person. This thing that we're seeing in space is a bicyclist. The ultimate goal is for one of these cars to pull up by itself. You get in, you tell where you want to go, and it brings you there safely with no problem. How far away are we from that point right now? I mean, that's going to take us years. That's because the system isn't perfect yet. And in order for people to feel safe, it needs to be. According to research from the Boston Consulting Group, only 48% of Americans are willing to try a self-driving car. And it's not just passengers on the fence, it's also some Uber drivers. I would personally never get into a driverless car, it's just terrifying. I mean, my phone breaks all the time, my GPS stops working, what if that car stops working? There's a fear factor of riding a car that doesn't have a driver. Would you be scared to get in one? Do you think that people's concerns are unfounded? No, I definitely have. I'm definitely sympathetic to it, right? Like, you've definitely seen accidents involving other, other competitors running their, their vehicles. We take it extremely seriously. So we are working on this very hard to make sure this is a completely safe experience for everyone involved. For now, Uber's sticking to Pittsburgh with no immediate plans for expansion. But this is a big move for the long road ahead. This is the future that people have been saying is going to happen for over 60 years at this point. And like we've now reached the point that we can pull it off. Like we fundamentally changed the world. Like I, this is a story we'll tell our grandchildren that we are the ones who did this.